the main part of today was to focus on recovering so that I can, you know, hit some heavy stalter presses tomorrow and some other power moves. So I'm focusing on some uh, smaller muscles like the hands or smaller body parts, I guess, so like the hands. The hands are mainly composed of tendons and ligaments. There's very few muscles. So you got to take a, a different training a philosophy when it comes to training the tendons versus the muscles. So I'm just passing this ball back and forth, supporting myself on the, the fingertips, drawing a little circle around them before each transition. This is a bit of a hanging practice that if you've been around recently, you should not be surprised doing some one arm hanging pushing and pulling the one arm hanging if you don't if you can uh, if you don't do already a hanging practice try you know hanging from two arms as much as you can and see where that takes you and then maybe you'll progress to a one arm variation like this maybe you'll move the core around doing some windshield wipers or levers meat hooks that sort of thing but I also like to do some pull-ups to try to help balance out uh, the main push focus that I have with the totality of my training. Doing some Colsack squats. This is at night. Uh, most of the day kind of flew by before I could get much more training in. This is trying to get the legs ready for the middle splits i find this very good for do it before i do the middle splits uh, to build up the strength and the mobility and my middle slip practice always seems to be better once i do this uh movement here i feel some somewhat a bit awkward what to do with the arms when i'm doing this but when I do the middle splits here, I get probably one of my best middle splits I've had in a recent time. I don't try to get too uh, dogmatic with just doing more and more reps, but just trying to move, go with the flow, and just try to feel what's right, what's the right movement, what's the right next expression to do. So I get in the middle splits position, and I'm able to support it. No hands for just a moment. Any bit longer would have been uh, pushing it too hard, I, I, th I think. So getting a bridge practice in here. My arms are straight. Getting the shoulders engaged. Feeling a nice uh, stretch and building up the position. No pain in the bridge. Doing a little bit of head bridging here. I can do the bridge without uh, any hand support, just on the head, but I like the with the head support. And uh, to complement the middle splits, I will be also trying to get the lotus position. It's probably the the worst position I'm in for my uh, particular career or my particular body, I'd say. I've, this is probably the worst uh, stretch or kind of movement I I can do. Uh, the worst movement for me is this um, Taylor's pose and any sort of uh, crossing of the legs. Uh, probably followed by the, by the pike. So, just because you're not good at something doesn't mean you shouldn't try it out. I did a handstand hold, probably one of my worst holds for a while. I barely could hold it for more than a few seconds, but I was trying to get some good alignment, but just could not seem to get it. Which is okay. I can hold good handstands if I... Uh, maybe I should put some more focus on it. Because I'll be doing some stalter presses. But unfortunately, most of my stalter presses end up a little bit short range of motion throughout the shoulders. So that's what I was uh, mainly focusing on that alignment throughout the shoulders rather than holding the handstand for the longest time I can. 
So I'll probably do some more handstand alignment coming up soon. Thanks for watching.